All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our Tensor Flow course, and we're still doing our Human Emotions Detection module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Now, today we actually did run some code, so uh, let's start with some light reading, and I'll show you what we did with that. So yesterday we initialized our training data set you see here. Today we did the same thing with our, val our validation data set. We shortened it down to valid data set. Exactly the same thing. The only difference is with the batch size and image size, we use the configuration. As you can see here, configuration batch size, configuration image size. We have to initialize that here above. As you can see, we have our configuration, batch size 32, image size 256. So that's the only difference between the two data sets that we use. Now we have to initialize configuration. I just showed you how we initialized it. From here, we will look at our data. This is how we would do that and run it to see our data. So note that we use the dot take function to specify that we only want to take one batch of that data set, of the data sets and bring them back. So we did 4i inval data set take one, and then we printed i. Now notice that we get back this up. Notice that we get this back before we get back our actual data set. We get found 6,799 files belonging to three classes and found 2,278 files belonging to three classes. The first number is going to be for the images in our training data set, and the second number is going to be for the images in our validation data set. So that's how many images are in both data sets and the three classes of course are the happy angry sad now we are only interested in looking at the labels at this point which appear at the end of our data set so let me take you down there really quickly what is we already done here these are the labels here at the end of our data set and you can see here that the uh images only go from zero to two that's because they're classified from a happy sad angry zero one two are the three numbers given to each one of those expressions so whatever expression is gets a number now, now instead of having our label mode set to int we will change it to categorical and then run it again to see the difference let me show you the differences up here i left i didn't cancel it out i just uh commented out. i didn't erase it so you can see the differences so you see label mode here equals int we actually comment that one out and we're going to use categorical for training data set and the data set and we ran it again to see the differences between the two. So you can see this is how it comes back with the int. This is how the labels come back. And then with categorical, this is how the labels come back here. Now you can see there is a difference. So you can see here we have zeros and ones only. That's because it's categorized and not labeled. So you can see here our first two labels will be 2-2. Two, two. So if I take you back over here to the second one, you can see our first two positions will be 2-2. Two, two. So you can see here. A one goes in position wherever the label is specified. So we have zero, one, and two. So our first two labels were two, two. You can see our first two positions are two, two. Let's do another example. The, the next two after that is going to be zero, zero. So you can see here we have two ones here in the zero, zero position, letting them know that's the uh, expression represented. And then the next three, we're going to be one, one in the two position. Let's see if we have that here. So you can see here we have three ones here. So, yep, that's what we did there so far. We bring it back our data set and uh, actually starting to manipulate it to our specifications and uh, playing around with it and seeing what we can do with it. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're going to uh, keep moving forward. And, of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.